Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Handmade. Today, I will show you my collection of cars made of plasticine clay. Yeah, all of them are my creation. This collection isn't so big, but still, there is something interesting for you. It's been almost one and a half years since I started this hobby. Actually, I've made much more of them, but some cars were made just for crash tests. My thing. <laughs> while other models were left for the collection, and I'll show you them. I have videos about each of these models on this channel. You can check them out. I kept all my cars in the refrigerator, so they wouldn't deform because of the high temperature. If I kept them on a shelf at room temperature, the wheels would become oval. Let's start with the first model for this collection. This is a Dodge Charger Daytona 1969. I'm a fan of muscle cars, especially this one. Of course, in comparison with new models, this one looks not so good. Even though I tried to make it even then, now it looks very crooked. This model has functioning running gear. The wheels can rotate. Also, there is an engine. I did it well. Its quality is very good even today. By the way, it's not paint. It's truly made of colored orange plasticine. Also, I did my best to make the cabin. You can see the dashboard, seats, and steering wheel here. The bottom of the car is also detailed well here. The next model that is made for the collection is the Peugeot 406 from the movie Taxi. I'm sure you know this car and a movie. Its quality is even worse than that of Dodge. I covered it with white paint. Unfortunately, even some brush strokes can be seen. Moreover, the paint has cracked over time. Now let's look at the engine. I also made the main character Daniel in a blue Zidane t-shirt. As you can see, I am much better at making cars than people. The next one is Chevrolet Camaro 2006. At first, it was made in order to crush it with an RC tank, as I did it with Mercedes. But while recording that video, I really liked it back then, so I decided to add it to my collection. Now I have an idea how to destroy this Camaro. I'll leave it outside under the sun on a very hot day and see how much the plasticine car will melt. This is a Porsche 911 Turbo. It's quite proportional, but the paint again ruined everything. It also has cracked over time. In general, it was detailed quite well. wants to go back to the future. Yes, this is the legendary DeLorean made of plasticine clay. It's an exact handmade copy. It took a very long time to create it, but it was worth it. The result is very cool. 
I did all various elements, small parts, and wires. This is one of the best and most detailed models in my collection. The doors can be opened upwards as in the original car. The cabin is also detailed very well. This is Paul Walker's Nissan Skyline GTR R34 from the movie Too Fast Too Furious. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us, so I made this model in memory of him. I tried to make this car look similar, but the painting ruined everything again. It is also cracked even here. Nevertheless, the model turned out to be very cool. This Audi R8 also came out very cool. The body is made of colored yellow plasticine. Additionally, I covered it with transparent varnish to make it shiny so that dust doesn't stick to it. It didn't look very similar in front. The headlights were too narrow. They should be longer. I also made this car for a crash test, but later I changed my mind and saved it for my collection as well. The discs were difficult to make it in the original shape. But still, I did it. The doors can be opened. They are on small paper hinges. BMW M3 GTR E46 from our favorite game, Need for Speed. This is the second BMW that I made. My channel began with this first one. The quality of the very first BMW was poor. Back then I had little experience in sculpting cars. Therefore, I decided to make a new car and it turned out very cool. It took 85 hours of work to create this model. Here the doors, trunk, and hood can be opened. The detailing of the car is very good. The last but not the least model for today is Bentley Ultra Tank of the Russian autoblogger Academic. It took me 102 hours of work to create this model. The quality of the car is very good. The running gear is fully functional here. The tracks work here. Nevertheless, the test drive isn't so good.
That's all for today, and that's all I've got for now. My collection may not be so big, but quite interesting. I will hone my craft to please you with the new, improved, plasticine cars. I hope it was very interesting for you to see my collection, so if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and give it the thumbs up. Thanks for watching my video. See you!